In our day, the power of gold has replaced liberal rulers. There was a time when faith ruled. The idea of freedom cannot be realized because no one knows how to make reasonable use of it. Give the people self-government for a short time and it will become corrupted. From that very moment, strife begins and soon develops into social struggles, as a result of which states are set aflame and their authority is reduced to ashes. Whether the state is exhausted by internal convulsions, or whether civil wars deliver it into the hands of external enemies, in either case it can be regarded as hopelessly lost, it is in our power. The despotism of capital, which is entirely in our hands, holds out to it a straw which the state must grasp, although against its will, or otherwise fall into the abyss. Same so-called free Masonic Brotherhood of underhanded liars. Underhanded literally, and it means deception. Whoever believes that George Washington was an honest man is ignorant. And now you have no excuse. The Washington Post. Democracy dies in darkness, they say. No, democracy dies in light. Majority rule is ignorant mob rule. An educated nation will make good decisions. Give me a single case of that. Look at the United States. It is chaos. Education? No, more like indoctrination and manipulation. In Under the video, Mozart worshipped Satan, which I uploaded recently. I showed Washington was of the devil and among others and then someone who calls himself justice said I wouldn't trust paintings like that one especially since we know that the devil always wants to use the images of the most influential men to make himself look like a source of light I said Washington was a traitor to Britain like Satan to God the apotheosis of Washington depicts him as a God above as the devil's lie to even Adam you will be like God if you steal from the forbidden fruit Washington is in hell right now. The statue of Abraham Lincoln is in a building in the style of an ancient Greek temple because the message is that Lincoln is a god now or will become one. Lincoln is also burning below us. Ye are they which justify yourselves before men, but God knoweth your hearts, for that which is highly esteemed among men is abomination in the sight of God. And then he says this, which you can pause to read, I respond to his arguments, but it's garbage, it's shit. I don't have time for all this, for this video. I have a 15 minute time limit. You can pause to read if you want. This giant pile of shit. He said, You and the pilgrims uh, have established that Puritan was corrupted and fallen below the standards that are expected of God. Um, the U.S. also falls short of God's will, which is justice for all. Therefore, you approve of everyone in the U.S. refusing to pay taxes to the U.S. government. Bring me a penny that I may see it. And they brought it. And he saith unto them, Whose is this image and superscription? And he said unto him, Caesar's. And Jesus answering said unto them, Render to Caesar the things that are Caesar's, and to God the things that are God's. And they marveled at him. Jesus commands submission to the government even when the government is evil. Remember that same government will crucify Jesus. And Jesus knew that would happen. Let every soul be subject unto the higher powers. For there is no power but of God. The powers that be are ordained of God. The uh, whosoever therefore resisteth the power resisteth the ordinance of God and they that resist shall receive to themselves damnation the word of God is clear George Washington for resisting the power of Britain received to himself damnation he said it also doesn't help that great and fully and easily transferable power was rejected by George Washington for a farm life he was not going to be king after preaching against monarchy in favor of democracy which is a satanic system of government because it means people rule as opposed to God rule equivalent to woman rule as opposed to men rule, and equivalent to kids rule as opposed to father and mother rule. Satan turns things upside down. Democracy is the worst system because it's literally a flaw in logic, ad populum, also known as bandwagon fallacy. So Washington was a fool. Moreover, when you are a rebel against authority, that gives you no right to complain when others rebel against you. But Washington was a hypocrite. But everyone else tries to put him there. No, nah, everyone wanted a republic. An indirect democracy, liberal propaganda spreading the message that kings are tyrants as if democracy weren't a tyranny of the majority was common as, as it appealed to the pride of men who desired to feel powerful as if their votes counted. 
Votes don't count. What counts is who counts the votes. He said, Masons trying to take complete hold of the nation. Templars slash so-called Freemasons were already in control of Britain as well as the genocide project called the USA Now. That's why the colonies were arbitrarily 13, referring to Friday the 13th when the French king burned the gay truth-phobic Knights Templar. The protocols, which I did a video on as showing, was not exactly a hoax. Say that by undermining Gentile King's power, the elite Jews could eliminate the only obstacle and liability to their goal of total world domination. By curious, George Washington served the synagogue of Satan by unjustly doing just that. Stop idolizing him. You ignored that what is popular to the sinners of the world is an abomination in the sight of God. No one becomes a ruler of a nation after Templar Jewish-controlled Europe conquered the world, establishing masonry everywhere, unless they're in the club. Uh, he said... George would have made it easier for them to control the rulers and such. How? He was merely one guy whose power came from his membership in the Masonic Club. And he's like, they can absolutely change history so that non-Masons are Masons. Then why do you cherry-pick Washington as somehow the exception and not the King of Britain? So he's a hypocrite. Diss on people for rebelling against nations. Jesus said rebels are damned. You would oppose Jesus to defend your idol Washington? And as for... And I told him, I turned that around him, and the so-called Freemasons can absolutely and easily portray Washington as a good guy, which they do. You are cherry-picking what history counts to suit a narrative that is Masonic. Rebel, good. Kings, necessarily bad. That is utterly Masonic. Washington lived according to Masonic doctrine, which is strong evidence he was one of them. They didn't need him. They could have elevated someone else. They would never elevate a non-member or anti-Mason. Britain is a nation of ego and pride like father like son. Seriously, you grab random symbols and images made by them, a known group of liars, and trust in them fully. I never trusted them. I trust the logic that rebels like Washington did what Satan desires, rebellion against authority. That is not an opinion. Satan loves rebellion. He's the father of rebels. Getting mad about the rebellion given to Britain. The brutish colonies were also Masonic special pleading, and mad? No, I am chill about it since it happened long ago. I bet if they grab your images and make you a Mason by AI, you will believe it. My life of poverty in opposition to masonry proves I am not one of them. Washington's position alone as the exalted and idolized leader of a nation already controlled by masons proves he was another statistic. Here's my next video. So he said this shit, pause if you want to read, pause if you want to read. You ignored many arguments, impotent coward. Example, and by the way, one of the posts of his was deleted by me because it was so insulting. And I did not want anyone to celebrate insults against me in my own virtual living room. So he ignored this argument. The U.S. falls short of God's will, which is justice for all. So you support everyone not paying taxes to the U.S. government? Easy checkmate. He said that the U.S. only recently forsook God, and because of the covenants, the, pilgr the pilgrims made with the God of Israel to have this nation. That is your blind page would call this fable equivalent to storks make babies in a land without a people for a people without a land, but pilgrims on the Mayflower weren't holy, but rather hypocrites like you. A murdered woman, accused of witchcraft, disobeying Jesus' command to love enemies. I hate you because you're a truth-suppressing blind patriot, but I also love you because I prefer for you to repent of stupidity like your pride and idolatry of that puto than for you to end up in hell, but you love lies. And you're ignorant of history because as my video Spain created the British Empire in the USA proves, it was Catholic Spaniards who gave permission for the Brutish to defile America with their genocidal ways. Your version of history is Disney-esque bullshit for little kids. So no, the Mayflower wasn't just because of God. It was because God let it happen, of course, but it was also because Satanic Spain gave permission for the British to settle there. Painting George as a rebel. Well, he was. He was a rebel. He was a traitor. Who doesn't obey God? Washing dumb supported democracy, which is an evil system of government, as I already explained. Again, it is this fallacy, so Washington was a fool. You pissed your U.S. flag panties running from this irrefutable fact. Yet you act superior because you're a deluded narcissist. Using broad strokes of historical ignorance, says the ignoramus who believe the pilgrims got to Massachusetts only thanks to God when it's also thanks to satanic Spain. Can be used to reframe Joseph, Moses, and Daniel as rebellious pagans. False equivalency fallacy. None of those men of God supported democracy. They were theocratic, not libtards like Washington, who's, who preferred the rule of sinners instead of the rule of God. And did Daniel rebel against Nebuchadnezzar? Only when told to sin. Paying taxes isn't sin. Washing was just being a whiny bitch. Jesus says to give to Caesar what is Caesar's. You're against Jesus. The lake of fire is your deserved future forever. But we have tons of information. You mean propaganda, the global fall for like Washington, 
cut down a cherry tree, and then he confessed to his father, Father, you know I can't tell a lie. I did cut it with my hatchet. <laughs> Masons always claim to be men of character, mere propaganda. Moses and George didn't want to go against the Pharaoh. They had to, and God picked them to enforce war for the new and stable nation. Actually, Moses didn't wage war against Egypt. He ran away from Egypt. He did not fight Egypt at all. It was God who fought Egypt by drowning them in the sea. Moses wasn't a libtard, pro-democracy rebel and traitor like Washington. False equivalency, fallacy, your arguments are always shit. Moses was no devil worshiper like the so-called Freemason, Hog Washington. I know he was a Mason because of this argument you ignored, truth folk. Rebel good, king's necessarily bad. That's what Washington lived according to. And it's Masonic, so he was Mason. They didn't need him, they could have elevated someone else. They would never elevate someone who was not a Mason or against Masons. He said the U.S. is stable. No, or was stable. No, there was always lynching, mob rule, witch hunt, civil war. Again, you ignore this. That which is highly esteemed among men is abomination in the sight of God. God hates it. God hates Washington. God hates the U.S. Don't call yourself justice, more like injustice 666. George didn't want to be idolized. He accepted being the poster boy for democracy. He was greedy for fame and power as the chief representative of the simpletons, also known as the people. He appeared in the last days of office in complete weakness. Liar, the presidency was the most powerful political position. Even today, if you don't count the Jewish shadow government. Pulling up his glasses to show how weak his eyes have become. Wow, that's desperate. To portray glasses as weakness in politics. Red herring fallacy, you're very rational. Guess Theodore Roosevelt was weakling too. He must have been a teddy bear. Oh wait, he hunted bears. Never mind. All right, so I'm going to skip some stuff. I don't have much time. He said, Masons, who are the best artists and musicians in every era, by the way. Hasty generalization fallacy in your shell trying to make Masons look good. He knows George Washington was a Mason, so his argument is basically, even if he was a Mason, he must have been the best, because Mozart was a Mason. He was really good. Uh, Alexander was the best at war, but he was an evil drunkard and murderer. Skill at superficial things like fighting or music does not good men make. Red herring fallacy irrelevant to morality. And Mozart was rich, so he could afford instruments, but maybe there was a black guy in the Congo who was better at music, but is unknown or unheard of because he was so poor he couldn't get heard. He's like, uh, we don't spit on the devil worshippers and say, I will not work with you to maintain a stable order. So you admit that Hog Washington collaborated with Masons. You can lick Hog Washington's bloody boots until God ends you, but I'm done reading your garbage. Now in the U.S. Uh, Capitol, you see this ceiling. If you look closer, you'll see they depict George Washington in heaven. The satanic lie is you can become gods by sinning. As a mason, he wore an apron, celebrating when Adam and Eve made aprons after they rebelled against God. They celebrate rebellion by wearing aprons, the masons. So he's doing as below, so above. Satan rules the earth below, and he, wants Sat he wanted Satan to rule heaven also. That's the satanic dream. The U.S. is satanic through and through. As below, so above again. Just like Baphomet, Satan. U.S. blind patriotism is cancer. Look at this shit. Hell fighters. The lost are waiting to be rescued for Jesus. Let's go get them. Uh, you're not hell fighters. You're hell bringers. Look what you did to Cambodia. Look what you did to Vietnam. There are many more examples. You're hell bringers, United States. You're not hell fighters. You're, you're agents of Satan. To be a U.S. soldier is to be a pawn of Satan. Kill everyone over 10, said the U.S. guy. French women speak out on rapes by U.S. soldiers in World War II. And no marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Therefore, it is no great thing if his ministers like Washington also be transformed as the ministers of righteousness, who will go to hell because he was evil. So look at the devil horn sign here. I have less than a minute left. Jesus does not approve of the U.S. That's nonsense, and Jesus doesn't look like that. Exactly. So kids are being indoctrinated. This woman is a Karen. These guys are surfing a current as a dog tree. Washington was a bloody devil-worshipping piece of shit. The hell with Washington and the hell with the United States.